Destiny, you know, who would have thought working at Sears long ago that you would be here? And you know what? One, one of these days, you can't even say that anymore because the kids younger than you, they're going to be like, where? Because Sears is done for, along with like Kmart and all that stuff. I think Joe has the, the news story on that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the Kmart news story? Oh, yeah, Kmart. Yeah. Woohoo. All right. Uh, so, yeah, Kmart is down to two stores. This is a retailer. They used to have 2,000 stores across the U.S. Uh, the financial climate has been so challenging to retail chains that some companies that were once incredi incredibly successful and popular are needed to close some, if not all, of their stores. That's been the case for Sears right off the bat. Pizza Hut, CVS, Walgreens, Boston Market, Boston Market, they're all shuttering locations as a cost-cutting measure. And I think a lot of us have, uh, remember, the Bed Bath & Beyond uh, implosion that just happened. So uh, Tuesday morning, Christmas tree shops, they're all gone. Kmart. Kmart is the is the final, the final uh, nail in the coffin. Two stores left during the height of the discount retail giants uh, run. It was the second largest retailer in the country, had 2,000 stores, and uh, it's now it's down to two because the New Jersey Department of Labor said that on October 29th, all the employees of the last Kmart in the state in Westwood, New Jersey, are going to be laid off. The store is officially closing on September 30th. All the employees are staying to get all the rest of the merchandise out or sold to a uh, wholesaler. So the last two Kmarts in all of the world, Destiny, can you guess where in America the last two Kmarts are located? It's got to be in say yeah, somewhere right. out where someone voted for Trump. <laughs> actually, yes. Yes, in both locations. It's actually red. Uh, <laughs> Miami, uh, actually, not in Miami. Miami is, um, is still blue, but it's a red state. So Miami, Florida has one Kmart left. And Bing, Bingham, Binghamton, sorry, let me say that right. Binghamton, New York has the other Kmart. So two Kmarts left, one blockbuster left in the United States. So the uh, our entire retail youth as Gen Xers is now wiped out. Well, you still have yeah. JCPenney around. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, JCPenney. Yeah. Oh, I love JCPenney. They got some really? good stuff there. When was the last time you went there? In Denver. <laughs> oh, he's, he's old. Remember, he likes Bob. I, I'm old. old are remember, you? what's old? What? How old? What? Are How old you? am what I? Old? Yeah. What is old? What is old? I don't know. I'm 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 less than seventy, and I'm question, older though. than thirty. Um, no, tell her tell her your age, man, and then we'll all I'm go. 49. He's not hundred. You're how old? I'm forty nine years old. Forty nine. Well, you look good for forty nine. Oh, thank you. I work out a lot. I'll be thirty seven um, yeah, this you year. Gotta, Hey, congratulations, 37. But no one thinks I um, am. <laughs> yes, I am. Um, no, but I remember all the old retailers. JCPenney's still around. Uh, JCPenney, I go there because they sell one thing that no one else does because they have like an exclusive. Regret. And I like it. I'm not going to tell you what it is but because I don't want everyone oh. to buy it. Um, but yeah, I know all the old retailers. Do you remember Mervyn's? Yes. I shopped there. That's Mervin's. where I got all of my clothes, and they were definitely like Sears old people clothes. So <laughs> I am, I know, I know the feeling well. You were pick and save. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, pick and save all the time, man. That was like the first ninety nine cent store in the United States, I think. <laughs> now, now, uh, now, you know, you walk into the ninety nine cent store now, and they, they, there's a sign that says like, "It ain't ninety nine no more." It's like everything three. <laughs> Four ninety. It all ends in ninety nine, but yeah. yeah, they changed their wording so like it's it's ninety nine and up, so that's <laughs> so they can get away with still being called the ninety nine cent store. Again, I work at Marketing, yeah. so I know I know how they change wording around. But yeah, I walk in there, I'm like it's like four ninety nine, three ninety nine. But yeah, it's true. It still works. Ends in ninety nine. Yeah, ends in ninety nine. Still works. Okay, I have one at the well, corner of my house. 
You still do? Wow. Well, where I live, yeah, I literally live on the corner of the ninety nine where the ninety nine cent store is at. I shop there a lot. I like it. Because well, you right know, you know that. <laughs> well, you also know that the the economy isn't doing all that great when like the fastest retailer, uh, growing retailers in all of America are all discount retailers. You know, yeah, that's how you all, know. All is not of caught up with the uh, the hour. You know, our minimum wage or anything. Like, let's not get into that because I can go off on that. <laughs> like I said I'm too well, but I want to talk. But I want to talk about food deserts and how all these ninety nine cent stores take out the mom and pop grocers and don't leave any anywhere That's for anybody other. to shop and get I get I get blah, blah, blah. Okay. No, this is why. Like I said, I as someone who looks the way that I do, I pay attention to politics and everything that's going on around me. But I don't go around throwing it in everyone's faces because I, I already know they don't care. So <laughs> oh, I'm a middle class white male in America. So um, I feel uh, entitled to that. So well, of I course, go around throwing white people's faces all the time. And <laughs> I'm a white man. It's like, it's I have to. <laughs> Who else is going to if white men don't do it? No, I'm just kidding. 